Catherick's soul still nourishes the shadows. Destroy him, so the land may heal. So that I may heal. Oakfather preserve you. Only by reputation. She was present when we marched against Catherick Thorm, but on the far end of the battle lines from where I fought. And in the chaos that ensued, well, our forces were scattered. I led some to safety, but never learned of her fate. I'm glad to hear she survived. Though in truth, I should not be surprised. She was always said to be formidable and cunning. I could have learned much from her, no doubt. No matter how long I live, I will always strive to remain a keen pupil. Only a fool would think he could drink in all knowledge until none is left. There is always more. Nature's tapestry is infinitely complex. I cannot help but wonder how she would have handled some of the challenges I faced as Archdruid. Would she have helped the refugees? Defended the Grove? Controlled Korga? At least now we can benefit from her presence, and perhaps work to a common goal. Honestly, I never thought I'd make it that far. But the Absolute is a threat to all, and I promised I'd help you with your parasite. So, I'll remain with you. If you'll have me, that is. So do I, but one duty at a time. I've been unfair to you. I've had unrealistic expectations of your character ever since I joined you. But honestly, you've surpassed even those. Seems my faith was more than well-founded. It's true, and I can't imagine I helped with that. Sometimes I let the task at hand consume me and People think I'm obsessed. Trust me, the day I no longer have to talk about the Shadow Curse will be a happy one. What would you like to know? I am? <laughs> Trust me, it's been said. You show more restraint than most in avoiding the subject until now. It's a natural question, but I don't have a good answer, I'm afraid. Perhaps there's an, a half-orc buried somewhere in my ancestry. Or perhaps not. Sometimes I think conventional wisdom is too narrow about what someone can or cannot be. Stranger things have most certainly happened. Hmm. I had a friend when I was young, long ago. He played with me in the forests where I grew up. But eventually... I realized no one else had heard of him. It was Daniel, of course. Nature was my very first friend. I get older, but he hasn't changed a day. I knew then that I had to be more than a companion to him. I had to be a protector. <laughs> You're not a doppelganger, are you? Trying to study me to learn all my secrets so you can take my place? <laughs> Save for me. My line perished a long time ago. They rest in High Forest now, near the shade of the Grandfather Tree. The Grove became my family, with Sylvanus as my teacher. And now I have you. It was a long time ago. The wounds don't heal, but they become more bearable. Hmm. Um... I suppose you wouldn't be shocked to learn I love animals and nature? <laughs> I, I know, I know. Well-trodden territory. Uh, well then, let's see. Um... I whittle in my spare time? 
And I've something of a sweet tooth. Although everyone's very amused when I say I like honey. Ornaments, utensils, and ducks. I like ducks. I like what I like. Once you get to my age, you realize there's little point in denying yourself, so long as others aren't affected. 350 years young. I've been privileged to watch saplings grow into mighty boughs. Thank me by returning the favor, why don't you? <laughs> Come on. I'm sure you've something better than carving wooden ducks. Well, they are fierce creatures from what I understand. But as long as you avoid the high seas, I think you can consider yourself safe. Anytime. <laughs>